all, it's Gav here from danceplanet.tv. Thanks for joining me as always. I want to wish all you guys a very, very happy new year for 2018. I hope it's a good one. Um, I'm sure that many of you are feeling really rubbish this morning from going out last night and having a food too many beers. I don't actually feel too bad. Um, I've learned over the last, well, I say I've learned. I don't know if I have. As many of you can tell, I'm... Um, Still crazy and do like going out and having a few beers. But I'm actually all right today. I needed to be because I wanted to do this video and finish off doing all the, uh, you know, the whole schedule and predictions for the World Starts Championship in the Alley Pally. So today, how do I feel? I'm so excited because we've got the World Starts Championship final between Rob Cross and Phil Taylor. But at the same time, I'm gutted because I know that it's coming to an end. It's the best tournament in the world. It has the most talking points. It's the one that everybody wants. There's been so many shocks in this one and MVG going out and the coffin incident with Justin Pipe and um, Munch putting Lewis out, Lewis dropping out of the world. I don't know. It's just so much has gone on. It's been mad. And I'm going to miss doing these shows this tournament but don't worry because I'm going to have some Premier League shows coming out obviously the Premier Leagues can get announced later today we've had so many talking points on that I'm going to be covering a video on that and I'm going to be doing some shows and I want you guys to come on as guests so if you are interested in coming on as a guest to any of the shows please do get in contact with me um, so what I want to do is I want to go through these matches now now I was going to give stats for the whole tournament but I thought you're only as good as your last game. So let's have a look at how Phil Taylor and Rob Cross got to the final and their stats for the last game. As you can see at the moment, I've got question marks here because I'm going to reveal at the end who I think is going to be world champ tonight. Now, I've been swaying backwards and forwards. One minute, I think, oh, Rob Cross, it's his debut year. What an amazing season he's had. Um, he's done one, you know, the Players' Championships. He's got to the final. He's... He's, he's running to MVG a few times. Now he's beat him. And I'm thinking, I don't know. This could be the mass, the most talked about debut season ever. Will it ever be done again? Rob Cross is going to be champion. And then my head says, no, Gav, no. I think that Phil Taylor's going to win it. Because it's going to be the fairy tale end. And the sort of tournament's opened up. As you guys know, I thought he was only going to get to Gary Anderson. I thought, he was going, I thought that was his lot. But he got through that. Put Jamie Lewis to the side quite easy. Uh, so I'm thinking, is the fairy tale ending coming? So let's have a look anyway. So... Phil Taylor beat Jamie Lewis 6-1. Now, Phil Taylor had a free dart average in that match of 99.87. He hit 31.40s. He had 5.180s and he had a 52.63% checkout. While Jamie Lewis had a 97.35% average, he hit 28.140s and 11.180s, but he only had a 34.15% checkout. Now, Jamie Lewis could have gone two sets to nil up. He let Taylor back in. How many times did it go to all and, and Lewis didn't win it and Taylor... Taylor knows how to take advantage of people. Is the most experienced guy in darts. His, um, his records will never be beaten, I don't think, personally. And he took advantage of him. Jamie Lewis had an amazing tournament, but that Phil Taylor knew what to do. And when he got on top of Jamie Lewis, he suffocated him, and he was never going to let him back into it. Meanwhile, we had Rob quite an epic match against MVG. One of the best matches I've ever seen. And I know some of you might think, oh, there's been the finals up, but I just think I was sitting there, I was screaming at the telly, Rob Cross coming through, winning, going to the final against Taylor, another Englishman getting, you know, coming into the, he could go up to world number three and Taylor's now going to retire and his kid could do a play, I don't know, it's just, I bloody loved it. It, for me, was an epic match. So let's have a look. So Crosby, um, Cross's free dart average was 100.97. He hit 41.140, he had 15.180s and just a 38.03% Check out. Wild Van Gerwen had a 102.44 free dart average, 38 16 and a check out of 31.76. Now that's really low for Van Gerwen. Um, Rob Cross has survived match darts a couple of times now in this tournament to get to the final. So is the omen with him? I don't know, but it was an epic, epic match. So it's, it's really difficult. So this is what I personally think. I think that Phil Taylor is going to win this evening and become 17-time champion of the world and he's going to win in an epic thriller 7-6. I think it's going to be nip and tuck all the way, but I think something's telling me it is this tournament is made for Taylor. It's Taylor-made and he's going to win it and he's going to go out and say that is it. He's holding a couple of majors and that, that will just be him going out 
it, it would just be the perfect ending to the most amazing career. But none of us will see the likes again. I really, really don't think we will. Rob Cross is going to push him all the way, but Taylor wants this more than anything. Can you imagine it? It will open up so many talks and different things. Um, and I know I go back to it a few times. A lot of you are saying, oh, if he wins it, will he be in the Premier League? And I think that Taylor is going to retire. Whatever happens this evening, I think he will win it and he will retire. It will be the last we see of Taylor. What he'll go on to do, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be a photographer or a DJ as he was doing in the Jamie Lewis video. Um, video I did a video on, it, on the Jamie Lewis match. So that is what I think, guys. Uh, I'd love to know what you guys think. Please, please, please leave your comments below. Give it one final shot and let me know who you guys think is going to win. Is it going to be the most amazing debut season for Rob Cross that everybody never forgets? Or is it going to be the fairy tale ending for Taylor? Leave your comments below and I will get back to you. As always, guys, don't forget, if you like my videos, to leave a like. Please subscribe. Turn your notifications on so that you, can, you, um, you know when my videos are coming out. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. Check out dartsplanet.tv. I've just add forums in there. And the more you post in there, you get points. And the more points you get, you're going to be able to swap them for dartsplanet.tv merchandise. And there's loads of it coming in. So, as always, guys, I just want to thank you for the last time for watching my series of videos through the World Darts Championship. I'll be back with the Premier League, as we're going to find that out this evening. Who's going to be in that? So I'm going to be covering videos in that and the shows and different bits. So thank you guys. I'll catch you in the next video. And that's it from me. Bye.